Hello! Welcome to the Monday episode. Guys, we're actually doing something a little bit different today uh, because I don't know which watch we're talking about, if it's even going to be a watch. I got a package sent to my office and I wasn't expecting anything. So what I'm thinking is maybe a company wrote to me about sending me something and it just slipped my mind because as you guys know, I've been swamped since releasing uh, the T3 shop. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know what this could be because I've received uh, all of this month's watches for the T3 shop, so I have all the stock I need, or the inventory, I should say. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know, because it, it's quite a big box. So let's go ahead, we can open it and hopefully it's watch related, and if it's not, then maybe this will be a time away episode. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead, cut this baby open. Okay, there's a lot of padding in here. One second. It is a watch. And that's all that's in this package. That's very bizarre. Okay, that huge package with all that padding is holding a little Zodiac Standard Hermetic. So, okay, that's the watch we're gonna talk about today. Let's talk about it. In fact, you know what? Before we even go ahead and tell the time, uh, let's take off my Seiko Tuna, my SBBN 031. Let's replace it with this little Zodiac Hermetic. Uh, very, very uh, difference in sizing there. <clears throat> Excuse me, and let's, uh, let's see how it feels. We'll tell the time with the Zodiac. Someone sent it to my office, so it's um, probably wanted me to wear it. So let's go ahead. Kinda got a little field watch thing going on on this uh, military like nylon canvasy strap. Looks pretty cool. So what's funny about Zodiac watches is their sports watches, right? Their divers typically get all the fame. And although Zodiac is currently owned by Fossil Group, yes, that's right, Fossil Watches. <laughs> Um, Zodiac does make some really cool pieces, especially their vintage watches, but even even their uh, new releases kind of have that retro, funky, um, cool diving aesthetic. So I'm, I'm into it. I don't know about you guys, I'm into it. Fossil doesn't do a whole lot of things correctly, uh, but Zodiac is still okay in my book. So in today's Monday episode, we're gonna look past Zodiac's dive watches and pay attention to Zodiac's unsung heroes. The Hermetic series. It's 3.16 p.m. Let's get down to business. Alrighty, I'm actually very excited to talk about this because Zodiac, I get a lot of questions about Zodiac. I don't really mention them that much on this channel. And that's a bummer. I think they have some really cool watches, especially in their Hermetic series. Uh, they have some small seconds dress watches. Um, they have little field watchy ones like this one. And they even have chronographs. And again, though, when people think Zodiac, they just immediately think dive watch. But this little thing's pretty funky. The Zodiac Standard Hermetic. Hermetic almost sounds very clinical. Let's Google this for one moment. Okay, uh, according to Google, Hermetic, Adjective uh, of seal or closure, complete and airtight. A sentence, a hermetic seal that ensures perfect waterproofing. Uh, that could be it. This does have a screwed, uh, screw down case back. It does not have a threaded crown though. Um, it has a push pull crown, but this was probably considered waterproof way back when. I'll have to take a look at the case back. And then the second definition is relating to an ancient occult tradition encompassing alchemy, astrology, and theosophy. Hermetic. Let me, okay, let me get this straight. So Zodiac, a company named Zodiac, made a watch named after ancient occult tradition, encompassing alchemy, astrology, and theosophy. Zodiac has made a watch line, okay, not just one watch, a whole series of watches named after ancient occult Tradition. That's kind of sinister. And I, <laughs> I have the fan going, but the, but like it's it's still fairly 
warm in here and I just got the chills. This is kind of, I don't know. But anyway, this watch seems, <sighs> oh, dude, I have like, hold on Israel. Okay, so this little field watch from, oh God. One second, one second. Dude, I have a really bad taste in my mouth right now. <clears throat> okay. I'm sorry, Israel. This is gonna be a doozy for you to edit. Okay, let's do this. So, so far I've spent very li- <coughs> Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can't film right now. <laughs> Time teller, you fool. <laughs> Couldn't help but notice you weren't wearing your citizen Nighthawk very often. No matter, I found other ways of being summoned. <laughs> the Zodiac Hermetic. <laughs> Stupid time teller. This 33.5 millimeter little Zodiac standard Hermetic may be my favorite in the entire series. This deep black gilt dial and the robust 17 joule Zodiac Cal 60 hand wind movement make this little standard Hermetic a pleasure to wear daily. It really is all in the details with this one. How the indexes raise off that patinated dial, the signed crown, the smooth lugs. Everything works so well together. But by far my favorite part about this Zodiac standard hermetic are the sharp hands with the perfect amount of patina. Oh, and the fact that this watch has summoned me. <laughs> Kevin. So all in all, you'd have to be a fool like the time teller to overlook Zodiac and everything the company has to offer. I'm a big fan of this watch. <laughs> Uh, all in all, this seems to be a cool little field watch. Uh, I've only spent a little bit of time with it. Obviously, you guys saw me just open up the box, but I feel like I've been wearing it for a while, and um, I hardly even notice it, honestly. It does tick very strongly. Like, you can tell that movement is very, very healthy. I can hear it. Um, but yeah. The raised indexes, uh, the, the dial has like a perfect amount of patina, but the hands, it's all about the hands with this watch. Again, um, some very nice patina on the hands, but they're very, very sharp. They look gorgeous. Um, let's go ahead and take the watch off so I can inspect the case back. Um, not a whole lot going on here, but there's enough to make it very interesting. You can see the Zodiac logo. It says shock resistant Swiss made. Um, you're getting some other little engravings here. I believe they're fish. And yep, it says anti-magnetic water resistant. So um, very, very nice. You get a little bit of crystal distortion, but not a ton. Uh, all in all, this watch is honestly gorgeous. And again, we do need to kind of look past Zodiac's um, more common superstars, their dive watches, because the Hermetic series have some really cool watches like this. So guys, you know me, I'm very into vintage watches. I'm very into smaller watches and this watch is right around 33.5 millimeters and I'm super duper into field watches. So this is right up my alley. But the good news is this watch is actually going away to another very, very happy home because this watch was listed at the timetellershop.com. It is serviced with a one year warranty. It is ticking away very healthily and I'm very happy that I could find a very nice home for this little Zodiac standard Hermetic. Um, very, very, very cool Swiss made watch. So guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for checking out the Time Teller Shop and uh, thanks so much for watching the episode. I hope you enjoyed your 
yourself. Hope you had some fun. If you liked this episode, click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click the bell icon so you don't miss out when I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday with a live stream Q&A every single Saturday, rain or shine. And if you want to go above and beyond, uh, you can go shop at my Amazon store. I got watches, watch straps, watch winders, watch toolkits, everything you need there. And if you want some really cool vintage watches, again, serviced, kosher, all good to go, T3 certified with a one-year warranty, check out www.thetimetellershop.com. Thank you so much, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller. Always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Real quick, if you enjoyed this episode, then do not worry. The fun doesn't need to stop here. Check out these recommended episodes that are going to be popping up on the screen anytime now. Also, take a moment, check out my brand new channel, the Time Away channel. It's where I talk about everything outside of the watch world, some of my other collections, some of my other hobbies. And if you're not interested in any of that, don't worry. Just stay right here, and I will see you right here. Because I, I never leave. I am trapped inside of this camera. That was a lot, and that was really hot.